Hey there, welcome back to Torque Performance Television. I'm your host, Jason Hallman, and I'm super excited about this week's new product showcase. It's not every week that we get one of these come through our service department. And when it got here yesterday, I unpacked it and I said, we've got to do this for Torque Performance Television. This is the new grudge box from Baker Drivetrain. Now, obviously, if you're in the V-Twin industry or in the V-Twin as a hobby, you know who Baker Drivetrain is. They are the pioneers and the innovators of the six-speed transmission. What makes the grudge box so awesome is that there are some inherently idiosyncratic problems with the factory cruise drive transmission. And the mad genius that Burt Baker is and his team have gone back in and re-engineered completely the six-speed transmission. So what you're looking at is not another iteration of a six-speed. This is the biggest, baddest, and best re-engineered piece, clean sheet engineering from stem to stern, from the input shaft to the output shaft, completely redesigned. What you're seeing here are all spur cut gears. Why that's important is back when Burt originally developed the DD6, which is a direct drive six speed, that transmission featured helical cut gears in fourth, fifth, and sixth. Now those are your low torque gears. Those are your cruising speed gears. And the reason why Burt did that was because you could have closer tolerances on the gears and they would run much quieter. So at lower RPMs, you're actually going to hear less mechanical noise. But a grudge box isn't about less mechanical noise. The grudge box is about full on high performance strength. So one of the other things that Burt and his team of engineers did was they re-engineered the gear ratios. A stock cruise drive has a very short first gear and a very long second gear. This is called the stack, when you look at all of the different gears as they multiply. Burt completely went in and re-engineered all of these gears to build something that is not only super, super strong, but super efficient. You're gonna have less RPM drop when you're in full throttle, when you're racing with a grudge box, and that's what this is built for. You've got a billet trap door. You've got the signature Baker bearing retainer, which is going to stop the main shaft and the counter shaft from moving apart from each other. And they do this under load with the helical cut gears, because if you've ever had a cruise drive apart, they're all helical cut, which means that even in your high torque gears, your first, your second, and your third, those gears are trying to push each other apart. That doesn't happen with spur cut gears. The trade-off is a little bit of mechanical noise, but with a properly placed gear ratio and properly placed bearings and proper spacing, this transmission is out of this world. Our transmission has an N1 drum, which is an option when you order a grudge box that your neutral can be all the way down. This is going, believe it or not, into a freewheeler with a 131 engine in it. So we're super excited to tell everybody about this. Here's the cool thing too. A couple years ago, Bert and his team re-engineered a brand new way to do the main drive gear bearing that's pressed into the case. Rather than using the giant FAG bearing with the ball bearings on it that comes from Harley, they have two tapered Timken style bearings that press into that case. That means once you set the bearing spacing and the proper preload, that bearing's not going anywhere. We are super excited to get this into our freewheeler and test it out and see what we can put it through. But I can tell you right now, the grudge box is made in the USA, it's made for high horsepower applications, and it's made to absolutely punish. For Torque Performance Television, I'm Jason Hallman. Have a great week. <laughs>